All right, what's going on guys? My name is Nicholas Merton and today we are on part seven of my series on SQL and data analytics for beginners. Guys, today is uh, pretty much the last day we're gonna be using PG Admin. Uh, and the reason that is is because I'm gonna show you two last important things related to kind of the SQL uh, database side of things before we transition over to visual analytics with Tableau. So, the two things I want to teach you guys today, I'm going to try and go into a little bit of detail before we jump into it. It's very important that you understand at least how to, in PostgreSQL and PG Admin, uh, create a database and import previously recorded information into it. What I mean by this is getting uh, data sets that have been already created uh, and importing it into the database so you can have it on your server. Um, and the thing we're going to be using to use this as an example is um, a thing called DVD Rental, which is a free data set that's provided by the team at PostgreSQL. So it's really cool. A lot of people use it for these kind of tutorials. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, import that into a newly made database and show you how, real, how, really, how simple it is, especially in PG Admin. Uh, and then the second thing I want to teach you guys is how to uh, export certain information from our, uh, our tables into CSV files, which is probably one of the more commonly used file types uh, for visual analytics and importing information. So anyways, guys, Let's jump right into it and let's not wait any longer. All right, so first off, our previous objective was to focus on creating a database and importing information. So first off, we're gonna go about creating a database. Now you all remember we could type this into the syntax, but I know you guys want this to you know, use this in the shortcut. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and create database. I'll just give PG admin a second, should pop up a little window. All right, and then we're gonna give it a name. In this case, we'll just keep it simple, DVD underscore rental. And we're gonna go ahead and save that. And we'll go ahead, just do a quick refresh. And then as you guys can see, if we check the schema, and we go to public, and then we go down to tables, there's nothing there. And that's what it should be like. We just you know created a new database. So how are we gonna import the information? Well, before I show you how to do it in PGM, let's go ahead and download our data set that we wanna download. So, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, there's a link in the description that will let you uh, download this uh, and um, we can uh, go about and using it. So let's go up real quick. I think the download link is uh, DVD rental base. Okay, here it is. All right, go ahead and scroll down. Here's our sample database, there we go. Go ahead and download that. And then what we're gonna do is unzip it. And then we have a .tar file. Now this is what we're actually going to be importing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this into my downloads. So we should have it in my downloads right there. Perfect. So we'll go back to PG Admin. And then what we're gonna do is right click on our DVD rental database. And we're gonna click restore. Now what Restore is gonna do is it's gonna pop up a window like this and it's gonna ask us for our format. And we're just gonna leave it at customer tar because tar is what we're using. So let's go ahead and I think it should let us, uh, we could directly type the file name, that's just monotonous though. So we can go ahead and click on this and it should pop up a window that allows us to find our data set. Now it's gonna look a little bit different than usually a normal file browser because this is all inside of um, PG admin. Real quick, before we move anything, uh, we don't want to leave it on backup. We want to put it on all files and we're going to go ahead and go to our C drive. We're going to go to users. And in my case, uh, mine's Nicholas. Uh, should be your name. And then we're going to go to downloads. There we go. All right. And then we can go to DVD rental tar. And then we're going to go ahead and select. And we're going to click restore. All right, so the restore job created and it's currently in the progress. Now you have to give it a little bit of time because it's trying to import all this information in. Um, but once it finishes, we should be good to go. It, uh, as I see it, so yeah. Oh, it's successfully completed already. Wow. Okay, sorry, I misread that. Uh, sometimes it might take a little bit longer for you guys. I have a pretty kind of like decked out PC, so everything runs probably relatively quick. Uh, but let's go ahead and refresh, just in case. We're gonna go to schemas, we're gonna go to public, and go to tables. And there we go, we have a lot of information here. And just to uh, really draw on it, let's go ahead and look at some of the information in our query tool. So go ahead and query tool, just to make sure we got all our rows of information. 
Um, so as you can see, we're on DVD rental, our new database. We're gonna do select all from, uh, let's do actor. I think this should be, yep, yeah, this is a, like a customer list. So we have tons of information. This looks a lot more like what a database should look like, guys. Just tons of information, rows and rows of important, valuable insights that we can use on a visual analytical side. And also just to keep track of important information if we need to go back and find it, which is one of the sole reasons why we really use databases. So anyways, now that I've shown you guys that, let's move on to the next step. So the next step of what we're going to be doing in this case scenario is exporting information so that we can use it within a visual analytics tool. And this is the button in PGM that I want you guys to uh, use. It's the, it downloads it as a CSV file. So it's going to be downloading the information that we have uh, selected in the query tool. So we'll just go ahead and do this. And then it's gonna give us our data right here and we can save it wherever we want. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and save it to my downloads folder. So now I can find it there. Go ahead and save that. And it should be as simple as that. We'll go to the downloads to make sure it's there. File Explorer, downloads. And we got a CSV file. Now if you try to load this in Tableau, which we're gonna be using in the next video, it should work completely fine. However, I've got uh, a database, or sorry, a database uh, data set that we're going to be using uh, that is uh, already built into Tableau. That's what's really great. They give us a really great data set called uh, Superstore, and it's gonna give us uh, pretty much the flexibility to try all of the features. So, whereas in SQL, sometimes we kinda had to uh, work around the hedges and stuff, seeing as we were working from the bare bones and trying to learn the syntax, uh, the Superstore is going to let us get all function, pretty much all functionality uh, within um, Tableau. So, it's a really cool starting uh, data set to work with, guys and uh, I can't wait to get started on it. So anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, two of the important things I really wanted to leave off with with PGM, and we are completely done with this stuff, guys, and we're ready to move on to the visual data analytical side to things. So guys, I'm so excited to get started, and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned.